Hey guys, it's Paul, and today I'm bringing you two figures from the Mythic Legion's All Stars 5 Plus Wave. And today we're going to look at the Ranger Dubon and his steed Boreas. Now, these two guys go together, but they don't have to go together. But I figured it would be more fun to review both of them at the same time. So for pictures and everything, I wanted to have the ranger and the horse. So I decided to open both of these. So first, let's take a look at Dubon. This guy is beautiful. Again, just like the entire line, this is paint job is just beautiful. They have gone to such detail on these figures that they just look amazing. The colors they choose are so good and this guy is just beautiful. I've been so excited as soon as they announced this wave the ranger was the first character that I saw and was just so excited to get. And again, too, this guy is so perfect for customizing. He comes with so many cool parts. And the way he's painted is almost perfect if you want to repaint him or do anything. Like, I just love him as a base figure. And again, you can get the head out of the hood. You know, it's kind of attached, but it does come off with some hot water. And there are 3D... Uh, customizers and people making face plugs that go in there so you can switch this out I have a Fox one that's so cool and to me this guy like I want to get one of these so I can make them into like a Fox Robin Hood kind of Ranger character so lots of potential for these guys these th what a great figure this is I absolutely love them and then there's Boreas. Now, Boreas is a uh, Mythic Legion's horse, and if you're not familiar, they make the best horses. This is 1 12th scale, and it's big. It looks like a war horse. It's like a Clydesdale. You know, when they went to battle on horses, they didn't ride little horses. They rode giant horses, and this guy is perfect for the Mythic Legion's. A lot of the other horses out there that are supposed to be one twelfth scale are kind of small. You know, even the Witcher uh, horse, I have that. It's, it's a nice little horse. But as you see these guys, it can no longer compare. These are the best. And I love what they do. This guy has a switch out mane so you can make it look like he's ripping through you know, and do like fast pictures, and he has the other, it's just awesome, the bridle, everything about these guys is beautifully done, so I'm so excited to do some pictures of these guys, and then we'll come back, so let's get these guys over on the table and have a look at them. So first, let's take a look at Boreas. This horse is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. First of all, it's got serious weight to it. It is heavy. It is solid. You know, it's not some cheap plastic hollow thing. Its legs are so sturdy that you can just about pose them in any kind of position and he stands. Like the Witcher horse has these tiny, tiny little ankles and hooves. And you can't do anything with them. This guy is just beautiful. What a gorgeous figure he is. And you can see he has some neck spin. He has head swivel. You can bring his head up a little or bring it down. Back legs move. Back knee bends. All the ankles where the hooves are. So you can do a lot with him, stand him up, and no matter how you put him, he just, he just stays. 
That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful horse. The detailing on this guy again. Look at that. Beautiful. And again, I love the gray horse. He looks so good. Could not be happier. I've never heard anyone who had a Mythic Legion's horse that wasn't 100% in love with the Mythic Legion's horse. So, and again, all the colors and everything on this guy are really nice. So... You can have his tail up and he has his mane pops out. So you can switch that out with this one. So it looks like his mane is flying back as he's running. I'll fit that a little tighter. So beautiful figure. Love the horse. So happy with him. Gorgeous. So here's a look at Dubon. This guy is so cool. Again, I was so excited about him right from the beginning. And he is awesome. I love the pieces they used to make this guy. Everything about him. His gauntlets. The tunic has the little piece in the middle that looks like the shirt. The soft goods they used. The chest plate. This belt is so cool. And this belt has a little sword holder on it. So you can take his sword and slide it right through these two little loops. And now he's able to actually wear the sword, and the scabbard the way he should. Awesome. Beautiful details on this guy. I love that about these figures. This wave is so cool. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But yeah, he is really beautiful. Really cool figure. The detail and everything on him. And again, a great figure to do things to customize. He's really hard to see the face because the the cape hangs so far forward that it always creates a bit of a shadow. But you can kind of get in there and 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 see him a little bit, like what the face looks like. But yeah, he's a, a shadowy figure. But I think again. Uh, a fantastic base figure to customize. I love all the parts. I love everything about this guy. He's great. So he comes with really, really cool pauldrons for his shoulders. So there is a look at the character with the pauldrons. Then he also comes with this magnificent cape. Now, the cape uh beautiful gray cape and all the edges have wire so you can pose the cape and it has a little hole in the top just pop his head off and you have the cape and it is a big cape you know you can completely cover him like a cloak so it's pretty cool pretty cool cape of course with the wire you can also pull it all back off his shoulders it looks much better with the cloak and the hood otherwise there's a little bit of a gap there but beautiful beautiful cape and you know really has a lot of character having that wire See, you can just pull it all back off of him. So, love the cape, love the cape. He also comes with this magnificent bird. Now, the bird is sitting on a little gauntlet piece. 
So what you do is you just pop his little hand off. You slide this over top of the gauntlet. And then you pop his hand back on. And now he has a bird friend. How cool is that? That's beautiful. The bird's head turns. Kind of make a look at you. Look over at him. Awesome. And of course this is going to fit on anybody that has this style gauntlet. So any of the characters that have that style gauntlet. You're going to be able to put this bird with. What a beautiful piece. Love the bird. I think everybody that saw this got excited when they got a look at the bird. So let's pop this off. I guess technically it's a hawk. Now he also comes with four sets of hands. So this figure really has a lot of different hands. He has a, like a, a good one for horseback. Of course he has different hands for holding stuff. And then he also has uh, a, a tight fist hand. So that's pretty cool that he comes with that many hands. And we already saw, but I'll show you again, the sword and the sheath. Really nicely done. Has a little clip there to also to catch it. So when you slide it in, it goes right to that spot. I love that sword there. You can see really close the way they did the wrap. And the wrap is even a different color. Outstanding quality. That's beautifully done. That is so beautiful. And the scabbard for this is quite nice as well. Beautifully done. I, I, I'm not, uh, I'm so happy with it. And then they give you a nice dagger. Beautiful. Again, just that little extra detail of the, like, ruby painted in there. And then they also have a crossbow. Really like the crossbow. Love the color. The way this is painted is fantastic. Great little accessory, especially for a ranger. So, I, I love this guy. I love the horse. I love the ranger. I love these guys together. I love the bird. I love everything about this. So, we're going to take some pictures of them, and then we'll wrap this up. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed taking pictures and setting that fight scene up. Uh, those guys are both so cool. And that Dubon character, man, that figure is so sweet. I wish I had ordered more than one. That is definitely a figure you want to have more than one of, I'll tell you. He is so poseable and he looks so good. And that cape with the wire, 
that just works so well with photography and posing him up. I just love him. He's really been another absolute favorite from the All-Stars 5. Every time I've opened one of them up, I fall in love with it. They're beyond my expectations all the way. So we're going to be doing some more videos of the All-Stars 5 Plus Wave. So please subscribe, please like the videos, and we'll see you next time on Toys in Motion.